chemistry plays a critical role in the production and use of textiles, clothing, and linings. From the dyeing and printing of fabrics to the creation of synthetic fibers, chemistry is essential in every step of the process. In this article, we will explore the various applications of chemistry in the manufacturing and utilization of textile products such as fabric, clothing, and linings. Dyeing and Printing One of the most apparent applications of chemistry in textiles is dyeing and printing. Dyeing is the process of imparting color to a textile material by immersing it in a dye bath, while printing is the process of applying a design or pattern to a fabric using dyes or pigments. In both cases, chemistry plays a crucial role in achieving the desired result. The selection of dyes and pigments is based on their chemical properties, including their solubility, stability, and reactivity. For example, Reactive dyes are used to dye cotton and other cellulose fibers, while acid dyes are used for wool and silk. VAT dyes are used to dye denim and other fabrics that require excellent color fastness. Chemicals such as mordants and fixatives are also used to enhance the color fastness of dyes and pigments. Mordants are substances that bind to the fabric and the dye, creating a stable complex that resists fading and washing. Fixatives are used to set the dye or pigment into the fabric, ensuring that the color does not bleed or fade over time. Synthetic Fibers Another significant application of chemistry in textiles is the creation of synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are made from polymers that are produced through chemical reactions. For example, polyester is made from ethylene glycol and terephthalic acid, while nylon is made from diamines and dicarboxylic acids. The properties of synthetic fibers can be tailored to suit specific applications. For example, nylon is strong, lightweight, and abrasion-resistant, making it suitable for use in outdoor gear and athletic wear. Polyester is durable, wrinkle-resistant, and easy to care for, making it a popular choice for clothing and bedding. Chemicals such as catalysts and initiators are used in the production of synthetic fibers. Catalysts are substances that speed up chemical reactions, while initiators are substances that initiate the reaction. For example, titanium isopropoxide is used as a catalyst in the production of polyester, while hexamethylene diamine is used as an initiator in the production of nylon. Finishing Finishing is the final step in the production of textiles, where the fabric is treated to improve its performance and appearance. Chemistry plays a crucial role in finishing, as it enables the fabric to achieve specific properties such as water resistance, flame retardancy, and wrinkle resistance. Chemicals such as resins, silicones, and waxes are used in finishing to provide properties such as water repellency, softness, and wrinkle resistance. Flame retardants are also used to make fabrics fire-resistant, making them suitable for use in clothing, upholstery, and bedding. Chemical finishes can be applied to fabrics in various ways, including spraying, padding, and dipping. The choice of application method depends on the fabric's properties and the desired finish. Linings Linings are used in clothing and other textile products to provide structure, shape, and comfort. Linings can be made from natural or synthetic fibers and chemistry plays a critical role in their production. Chemicals such as cross-linking agents and stabilizers are used in the production of linings to enhance their properties. Cross-linking agents are used to improve the fabric's strength and durability, while stabilizers are